What are you doing, buddy? Nothing. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just like climbing the barrels. You're doing what? I'm climbing the barrels. Oh well, yeah, why? I don't know. There's just nothing else to do. Here. Oh, nothing else to do. Well, you want to help us move a tank? Sure. All right, let's go. back to Bissell Maple Farms YouTube channel. I'm Nate Bissell and uh, yeah a little, little bit of ice and snow on the road on the drive-in this morning. It is Black Friday and Dino and I are gonna move some sap tanks. Right there you can see them. Gonna move some sap tanks into the building. We're gonna store maple syrup in these tanks so we can get drums back to farmers before the maple season. For those of you that are just joining the channel um, my wife and I, five years ago, bought a, let me see if I can turn this around so you can see. We bought GE factory that was vacant in my hometown of Jefferson, Ohio. And uh, we've been working on it for the last five years. I did what you should never do and took my entire 401k and cashed it in for a down payment. And you know what? Might not have been the right thing, but I'm so glad I have this building to be able to do the business that we are doing. So right here, Dean's got some bourbon barrels ready to go to Scotland for scotch production. And Natalie has a sample of syrup for me to try. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You know, you guys never bring me good syrup. <laughs> you always That's bring me- we want to know how bad it is. <laughs> Let me try this, let me try this. Maybe they'll want to see me try it. So this will syrup. So it comes in little, Natalie took syrup out of drums, each drum, right? Mm -hmm. That's and just one of them. this looks pretty light in color. So this is something never before seen. His syrup is amazing. Wow. His syrup is amazing. <laughs> That'll make you giggle a little bit. Who is this? I want to say. Yeah. Swidley? Sweet, like, crap, he's gonna want more money for a syrup next year. <laughs> That's really good syrup. I think wood fired evaporator syrup, I think it's better. Is that what this is? Yeah, that syrup right there is from Wisconsin. That's good syrup. Yeah. Kyle, you did good, buddy. I wanna eat, I wanna eat yeah, yeah. If Natalie brought me a good sample to taste, you did good. So, let me get back to it. So these are uh, maple bourbon barrels that are getting ready to be shipped in a shipping container to Scotland. And um, Dean's been busy pulling syrup, drums of syrup out of the cooler. And it's Black Friday, so every time it's Black Friday, I think of Bourbon County Stout. So thinking of my friends at Goose Island this morning, wish I was there with you guys. Love Bourbon County Stout. Now these are drums of syrup. This is how syrup comes in from farmers. So a lot of people don't know this. We have three businesses. We make syrup, we are farmers. We also sell equipment to farmers to help, help them with their crop. So we're kind of like a John Deere dealer for maple syrup farmers. I guess that's the best way to put it. And, uh, or Kubota dealer depending on your preference. And right here, these drums are from farmers that we partner with for large contracts that we have for bottling. This is where Dean and I are gonna put the tanks this morning. It's gonna be tank one, tank two, tank three is probably gonna be right about here, and then tank four is gonna be right about here. So we have four tanks we're gonna put in. We're using sap tanks to store syrup. These drums will be blended together to make a consistent flavor for our customers. That's the goal. That's what we do. I mean, this is good syrup coming from some of these farmers. And what we do is we segregate and sort based on color, which is directly related to flavor. So let's get started. Oh, that happens every now and then with heating and contraction. Barrels go boom. Drums, I'm sorry. These are barrels 
These are drums. Barrels. Drums. 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 Barrel. Barrels are oak. Drums are steel. These are either epoxy lined or the green ones, which we help bring to the maple industry, are phenolic lined. Those are made by North Coast Container in Cleveland, Ohio. And they just last longer. <laughs> the insides of these coatings of these drums last longer. So that bang, it reminded me to talk about drums a little bit. So I'm super excited. Let's move some sap tanks. So I am taking the green machine here at Clark. Picked this up for 900 bucks at HGR. We've had to do our fair share of work to it, but uh, it's been a good machine. Let me open the door real quick. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. So while Dean is moving um, syrup out of the cooler, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this sap tank prepped to move. sap tanks around. Dean and I are going to lift the front end up, take these first two six by sixes out. We're going to slide our sap tank cart underneath and then slide it in to the building. <laughs> issues we're going to have is this lip, this concrete lip is going to catch that caster. So when we bring sap tanks in and out, we typically have to put a, basically a piece of wood and build a ramp. It's really high tech.
now that we're on our third one, we got to figure it out, right, Dean? Yeah. It's going smooth now. So we're letting the water drain out outside instead of in the building. Yep. That was a big revolution, that revelation there. So we're going to set her down the cart. This is tank number three. And then we're going to get tank number four at least inside tonight and deal with that tomorrow. Um, maybe relax a little bit tonight, huh, Dean? Yeah. All right, do it. So, Dean and I cleared out those tanks. We got our fourth one, fourth tank right here. It's starting to snow. So we're gonna get this fourth tank in. And uh, I think rest for the night. Benjamin's here, my youngest boy. He's ready to go home, I think. So we're just gonna get this tank inside so it's not ice cold. We're not dealing with it cold tomorrow. But that's the plan. We've got uh, tank number four going in. What are you doing? Taking my miter saw. What? You're coming and stealing the miter saw? What is going on? Trying to clean it up. What's that? Got a coupon. What's wrong with the miter saw? You just coming in and taking things? Taking things. Welcome to Nate Mart. 